Wizards. Today I got a product to show you that I've just absolutely fallen in love with, but I use a lot more behind the scenes. I've shown you a few shorts on these, but I wanna go into a little bit more detail on these tripods to show you all the different options and how it all gets put together. Now I do wanna say we're not exactly dealing with uh, Target branded tripods at this point. So if you're gonna pick up one of these, make sure to use discount code TLDCO over on the Fatboy website. Save yourself quite a few bucks. But today we'll be going over the Fatboy lineup of tripods, ball heads, and all the accessories and know-how to get you set up for a hunt or a range day. There's a few different options on the website and I think seeing them all will really help you a lot. So I'll show you all that. Now, Fatboy Tripods is a sponsor of the channel, but we wouldn't have them as a channel sponsor if we didn't love their product. I was actually looking at buying their tripods from the praise Kenny gave during our mile shooting class and that resulted in us connecting up and Fatboy ultimately supporting what we do here at TLD. So because of that, I would likely be extremely biased and like a review per se, because I love those people a ton. So this video is more a product showcase of what these tripods can do and kind of why I like them so much. So I'll show you all the features, all the different ball head options and how to connect it all together so you can get all set up for your range days or for your hunts. I'll even show you how to use this badass side chick that you could connect in a Kestrel or a Chrono like this Garmin Zero. It's pretty badass though, but let's get started. From the very start, you have to select which tripod you want. Between the two or the three or the elevator, the Traverse, it can all get kind of confusing. So let me help you break it all down. On the Traverse, the leg locking ring is located near the bottom, like standard legacy tripods that you've seen forever. These are fine, but they don't excel nearly as well on uneven hunting terrain or more awkward shooting positions because you got a jockey with the lock on each leg. The Elevate, on the other hand, has the locking ring inverted, so it's placed along the top, allowing you to unlock the legs and lift the head up and into position, even if the ground beneath you is uneven. It's just a ton easier from cameras to rifles, but that leg locking position, that's the main difference between the Elevate and the Traverse. And if you're looking at them, I do recommend the Elevate because I think it's a lot better. Otherwise though, they're almost identical. So I hope that helps in deciphering the first bit. Now though, both the Elevate and the Traverse also come in two and three sections also. This bit is a little bit more self-explanatory as the two section is longer, but faster to deploy since it only uses two leg sections whereas the three section is more portable, but takes a moment longer to set up. That's the main difference. And I use the three section for like my cameras when I wanna have maximum portability. Whereas I use the two section for like rifle setups when I want them to be able to be quickly deployed and have max stability. I think people have been nagging Fatboy forever for an even smaller and more lightweight version. So if I was a betting man, I would imagine we'd see that sometime in the future also. Oh, apparently having legs that don't cross is a huge thing for some consumers also. So just so you're aware, both the two section and three section are designed with stops to prevent the legs from crossing and getting tangled up when transporting. So two or three is just how many sections you want. And I think this really comes down to personal preference. Me, I like the Elevate three section the most. Now diving into the tripods themselves, we see it has rubberized feet that you can rotate to expose a spike underneath for that terrain that needs some added stability. I like this because the spikes aren't something extra I have to carry around and then dig out of a bag and then swap out if I need them. Because to be honest, I found that over time, I never really did that. And those spikes, like I have some tripods that have that feature, those spikes just, they just sit in my bag. This system is far more useful, but I do wish the spikes would like lock in a deployed position or lock in a stowed position. Moving to the next bit, we see Fatboy lives up to its name with legs that are 42 millimeters in diameter and fully carbon fiber to give you a lightweight system that maximizes stability. The leg stops are super nice and have large grippy rubber sections to make it easy to deploy and even use with a gloved or wet hand. Each leg also has three locking positions. You simply take pressure off and push through the rear to lock it into the next tab allowing for unique shooting configurations or even getting in a low prone overwatch position. With the legs being inverted and all the different locking positions, you can set this up in whatever wild, ridiculous configurations you can come up with, as long as you know how to use the actual legs. 
Now, I could go on and on about how to position the tripod for maximum shooting stability, but I think that's, that's a different video. Just know to put the single leg in front of you as that's gonna work best for you in, in most situations. The side of the legs and top of the tripod also has these threaded holes that let us add in some cool stuff we'll do at the end. We also see there's a bubble level so you can get everything set up and level and even every single time. All right, now that we have our tripod set up, we gotta select our ball head next. And I think this part can get a little bit tricky. So let's start with the easy stuff and then we'll work our way into the more complicated, cool stuff. First, we'll start with the invert series. These look extremely familiar to standard ball heads on other tripods. And like the legs, they have an oversized knob for gloves and wet hands, along with the mounting option for both Arca and Picatinny systems. I'm an Arca guy because I like being able to use my cameras and my rifles on the same setup, but I could easily add in like an M-Lock Picatinny adapter and yeah, that would work just fine. Now, you may need to adjust the tension due to small variations in mounts. To do that, loosen the clamp and push outward, releasing the screw head. Here you can loosen or tighten to get it set correctly. I'll be honest, this bit can be a little bit tricky because I'm often holding the rifle with one hand and then trying to adjust all the, you know, locking head tension with the other hand. It's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to have like a knob or something I could pull to adjust tension. I think that would be a pretty good quality of life upgrade. On the website, there are also three different invert versions with the invert 40, 50, and 60. The increasing numbers aren't really anything fancy. They're just the literal size of the ball head and how much weight it'll hold. The invert 40 is more ideal for your cameras, spotting scopes, and binos. The invert 50 for more compact rifle setups and the invert 60 for all the big kid stuff. The ball heads also connect into an included bowl, but here I've actually used the Revive charging bowl. The Revive doubles as a 14,000 milliamp hour portable charging bank with a USB-C input and a USB-C and standard USB output. I did that bowl because the main problem we run into when we do thermal reviews is running out of power. And having a tripod that fuels your optic is just absolutely huge and means you don't have to go back to camp and recharge because your optic only lasts for four hours. To install all these bits, the head first screws down onto the bowl and you can lock it all up if you want by placing a screw in this retention hole here. The bowl then clicks into the top of the tripod head. As you can see, it rotates freely so you can get it into position and then use the cam lock to tighten it down. Simply tighten, then pull the tab outward to unlock the cam, rotate and re-engage and continue to tighten. Repeat this till it's nice and snug. Removal of the bowl is just as simple. Loosen and then disengage the cam and repeat to loosen the bowl on the tripod and then press the release button to unlock the latch around the bowl and remove the entire setup. It's pretty cake and it allows you to swap over to different configurations for different environments. Like if you wanted to put on this absolutely badass levitate head, let me show you this. The levitate head is installed the same way, but has a very different design. Instead of a knob on the side, it uses a lever along the bottom to adjust tension, meaning the user can get in position and pan and scan, or just lock the rifle in position, but do it all with just the flick of a wrist. I like the levitate head a lot more in a tactical or hunting perspective, due to how fast you can adjust your position and adjust your lockup compared to some of the legacy heads. Now, I've seen online where some folks have mentioned they wish the Levitate head had more articulation, but I found I could just adjust the base to give me an additional panning range if I need it. So I found it wasn't that big of an issue if you actually use and understand how the legs work. Now though, there is also a tension adjustment for different weapon systems. In the tension handle, there is actually a hidden Allen wrench that is held in by a magnet. You place the tool inside the handle and you can adjust to get the correct tension. To set this, I recommend you first loosen the lever, then tighten the tension to a point where you have just slight resistance, as then when you fully tighten, it'll lock in place, giving you that best of both worlds. Again, I like the Levitate head more for my firearm setups and I like the Invert series more for like my cameras and some binos but there are some caveats you need to take into account when deciding between the two. I just want you to be aware that due to the design of the Levitate, the recharge bowl can't be used. Additionally, the standard and revive bowls have hooks for packs, 
or additional weight to add stability. So there is a little bit of that give and take between the different ball heads, and you may need to think about what exactly you want for your setup. The cool item I mentioned at the beginning is the side chick. This threads into the tripod in various positions on the legs, base, and invert heads. The side chick has a standard quarter inch by 20 thread pitch to connect in Kestrels or Kronos like the Garmin Zero C1. I also use it to connect in various cameras such as GoPros or my Osmo Pocket to capture all the action. To use the side chick, just loosen the side tensioning and get it set in position, then it's just that easy, you lock everything in place. It's all super easy, but I think that's most of it from the tripods to the ball heads and everything you need to know to get all your stuff set up. Oh, there are also some other pads and Arca rail adapters on the website if you need any of that stuff also. Now, Fatboy also gave me a series of questions that they get asked all the time that I'm gonna help answer, but I think we already answered all these. Uh, the first one is how to lock the bowl securely into the tripod. I showed you that with the cam lock system. You simply tighten it down, engage or disengage the cam lock to loosen it or tighten into position. So that one's pretty easy. The second one is how to adjust the tension on the Arca clamp. We talked about that, how you loosen it. You know, you actually loosen the clamp, push that screw head out, and then you can tighten or loosen that nut on the end. And how I talked about, I wish there was some sort of pull tab you actually do to loosen or tighten the tension on that as that quality of life upgrade. Another one people seem to ask about is how to adjust tension on the Levitate. And this one we already went over also, you just take the tool out from here, loosen it, adjust it so you get that proper tension and then tighten it back down. And the last one we actually hit at the beginning, the main question they get all the time is the difference between the Elevate and the Traverse tripods. And that's where we talked about how the Elevate has those inverted locking legs where the Traverse has them on the bottom in the more traditional style and how we showed how the Elevate is a lot easier to level out and to use and how I, I really like these over the traditional style. I hope that helps though, but if you have more questions, please let us know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them and help you out. But I hope this video going over the Fatboy lineup of products was useful in your purchasing decisions. I wanna say thanks to all of our YouTube and Patreon members. You guys make it possible I can test out all this equipment and come show it to you, learn how it all works, and then explain it all to you guys. And I wanna say thanks to all, I always mess up at the end. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below about which tripod setup you like and which one you're gonna go with. I wanna hear about it. All right, everyone, Walsh out. Did you guys see this? The Garmin is actually connected into the ball head. So same with the Kestrel, you could do this with the Chrono. The whole thing moves with the rifle. Oh, that is very, very cool. And this, this Tika is awesome. If you need a sweet rifle, Tika 6.5 Creedmoor in the lefty. Yeah, that's where it's all at. All right, everyone, have a great one. Hope this was helpful to you. I, I really do love these tripods. I think they're absolutely fantastic from the recharge heads to the levitate to the side chicks. There's just so much cool stuff you can do. And I get so much cool footage. If you see me making cool videos and getting cool footage and stuff, it's because of some crazy tripod that I've used behind the scenes. So these are these are fantastic. And one of the few products you can buy that you know is really actually worth the money. Like, hey, I'm gonna invest a lot of money in a series of tripods. Well, they're really, really good. All right though, that's all I got. Have a good one. You guys gotta go.